The Brian and Vinny Show. Brian and Vinny Show. Brian and Vinny Show. Minus five stars every day. No, we have not checked out the Blood Moon Eclipse. Because, in fact, it's pouring Dude. rain. Bear Boulder and Bronson <laughs> Boulder. And what's the other guy's name? I feel like it is Bronson Boulder. It's Bear Bronson. Bear Bronson? Well, who's the other guy? Bear Boulder. Oh, Bear Boulder? Yeah. Bear. He beat Bear Boulder here. The two guys in Bear Country are named Bear Boulder mm-hmm. and Bear Bronson. Bear Bronson? It's been like three years. But they're not both boulders? They're both bears. No. Actually, they're both bears. I see. Yes, otherwise they'd be Boulder I Country. Little massage place down next to the jiu-jitsu school. And, uh, cool. Whoa, where's this going? I believe exactly one of them can speak English. And these two drunk guys come in. Can we do 45 minutes, please? Can I move my seat back farther? I don't know what this had to do with anything. Long story short. Too late. I feel like I've been ranting about Scorpio Sky and the TNT title all year. The booking and the storytelling is just completely horrible. It's horrible. Sammy Guevara and Ty. Yes. Yes. I didn't yep. get to that. Are yes. back yep. to being Baby faces? I'll have a better prediction the night before, everybody. <laughs> I'll have an even better prediction the night after. Well, that but, doesn't count, oh, you idiot. No. It is a stress reliever. Just run as fast as you can for about 10 seconds. Oh, wow. Do you run in like a wall? There's a parking lot behind. that seems like it'd be a, a stress reliever. Park- in, into the wall? Yeah. Like knock yourself run out? Run as, far- as hard as you can right into a wall. I'm not Wiley Coyote. Paint like a tunnel. You ever tried that? You paint I'm not Wiley Coyote. It wall. won't work. Run I, really fast. I'll die. It? Granny. Have you ever been so mad at someone you walked out of where you were and went home? No, but I've had somebody in my house that I went to the door and opened it and said, out. Wow. Yeah. Smuggling, by definition, is dishonest. Well, Stealing it depends stuff. on if, if uh, you know, it depends on your point of view, Vinny. No, it doesn't. Verb. Move goods illegally into or out of a country. Oh, uh, what, what is a law? Half the population has tongues that taste soap instead of cilantro. What That's does what that said. mean? It means it's true. to a lot of people, when they taste cilantro, they taste soap. What? Yes. Yes. What's wrong with your tongue? This show got weird. Yeah. Riddle does a tombstone on Sammy to win. And another humiliation for Sammy. <laughs> and I give that a seven. If I can save one child from the dead end road of hopeless debauchery, then I have not lived in vain. Can I quit now? <laughs> You're welcome to quit now if you want to, Granny. <laughs> Say, get that old lady off of there. Puts the mic down. She scoots in. And she uh, successfully read fives. Look at that. And man, when that one, two, three kid jumped off that fucking rope uh. and uh, slipped and landed on his head on the uh. cement. Dude, it was the fucking weirdest thing. It was like I watched the show yesterday. Like... It just came flooding back to me. Like, I remembered every instant of it. I had zero memory of this. What? And so when this happened, I oh my screamed God. like a banshee. We not only have a guest host, Vinny. Oh, Thursday? But it's a girl! What? Yeah! First time we're ever having a girl guest host, and she wants to watch NXT. Yeah. Lisa is joining the hey. show here today. Hello. Hi, how are you? The fact that uh, you, in fact, are a female and you're on the show yeah. is quite frankly uh-huh. astounding. There was a AEW-related social media that announced that Johnny Gargano is here. Oops. JR did some great work in this commentary. He gets so much shit online. I'm. Oh, I hope I am allowed to swear, by the way. There's no <laughs> profanity sure allowed. Shit can swear on this fucking show. <laughs> no are you kidding me? profanity in this goddamn am, show. I'm British, you know, we swear it's like... Oh, you use words we won't use. Yeah, yeah, that's actually true. Yeah. We may have to calm you down. Hangman Page versus Kanosuke Takeshita. Holy shit, what a match this Jesus was. Jesus Christ. This was the best fucking segment. <sighs> this is amazing. Holy yeah, shit. Wow. He's using this reality as a way to get so much fucking heat with this AEW crowd. I mean, he always gets a lot of heat. But uh, that story came out uh, four or five days ago. And man, this dude's music hit, and they just fucking were furious from the moment his music hit. Way more than usual, I thought. One way or the other, in 2024, this man will be a millionaire. Oh, yeah. So congratulations to him. Yeah. He has earned his money one way or the other. Yeah. Did you notice how orange his hands were? I yes. was just going to say. Orange is this, whatever this pill bottle is here. 
Is that a camera? I don't know who is responsible, okay? Are those seagulls? Yeah, I, I did say I'm by the sea. I thought they were dogs. <laughs> oh, I thought there was a dog knows. whimpering in the next room. No, I know a bird when I hear it. Every time you've been in a show, I've shoved your toothbrush up my ass. Yes. Is that a normal thing in Liverpool, by the way? It's not something we generally do when people come here, no. Okay. Or maybe mm. it is no one told you. You had the portion of the audience that was just there in heaven. And then you had the other half that was like, what in the fuck is going on in the own heart tournament? Why is she tipping over sideways like a fucking tree? Why, this aired? I have zero idea. It was a big burial of WWE's treatment of women. And I think they wanted to get this on the air the same week that the situation occurred with Sasha and mm. Naomi. She got breast implants put into her body to satisfy old perverts. And the people in Texas said, we are old perverts, we like implants. And they started chanting what at her. I used to be in wrestling. I was a ring announcer in the late 90s and early noughties. I left in 2005. I left because of pervy old men. This dream match between Jeff Hardy and Adam Cole, first time ever, got like six minutes and came off like a complete afterthought. First 90 minutes of the show was great. The last 30 minutes, it was just all rushed and it was like a different yeah, show. Yeah. Last week... I don't know if you remember this, Brian. I didn't like the show. Yeah, I remember that. And I was uh, depressed. Seriously. I thought you were going to walk in and, and put your mic on the desk and walk out. I was seriously depressed for days. So uh, I doubled my alcohol intake this oh, week's God. show. Yeah. This is the first time I've watched NXT 2.0, to be really honest. Oh, I, my I mean, I just... God. My name is Thea Hale. I'm 18. A 62-year-old male is the average viewer of this program. And she's going to train. It's not even like when they go, you know, you could be her father. It's like, you could be her great-grandfather. The stipulation is if Braun Breaker yes. loses his temper and gets disqualified, he will lose the title. This is the draw, everyone. It's a Saturday in June, but we're not doing any barbecue, no Here. baseball. We're not going to the park. We're not going to the pool. We're not going to the beach. We're going to watch and see if there's a DQ. Fucking stupid show. You know what they were playing at the gym? Gangsta's Paradise. And do you know the word that Coolio uses in that fucking song? He says, bloke! There's no way Coolio uses the word yes, bloke. Yes, he does. Do you want me to get the fucking lyrics? Actually, yes. Look it All up right, right now. You keep yeah. going. I'm going to look it up right <laughs> now. Right, you look it up. I really hate to trip, but I gotta, bloke. Where is this? I got it over here in front of me. Loke. Oh, get out of here, you idiot. I hate you. You know what's funny, too, is like... There's the seagulls I was going to say, the seagulls <laughs> are kind of funny. He has a dive to the floor where he... Clutches his knees to his chest in a cannonball. And then this guy lands on his ass and his oh my ankles. God. I thought he legit broke both of his ankles. I was sure he was done. Roxanne is the best worker on this show. The best best female worker. Maybe the best worker. I've said this. There's not five people that are on the show better than yeah. her. Wes Lee versus Nathan Frazier. Great match. These guys got in there and tore it up. This was fantastic. It was awesome. And he begins to <laughs> cackle. As the drone zooms out, and he is in the uh, community patio area of his apartment complex on the top floor. <laughs> what the hell was that? I'll tell you what it was, Lisa. A pile of shit. 